All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Ancient Enemy. It's a deck builder RPG. I don't know if it's a roguelike. I I want to say it is just because that seems to be the trend for this year. You know, a couple of years ago, it was like Nuclear Throne likes and then Risk of Rain likes. Well, actually, not a whole lot of Risk of Rain likes, but, you know, a lot of roguelikes that kind of are similar to previously existent roguelikes, and so it's starting to... Uh, there's too many of them. Anyway, I don't actually th I think that's quite false. Uh, from what I've heard, this is a successor to Shadowhand, which I've never heard of. Uh, so we're going to dive right in as uh, Gormandulus. There we go. Good luck, Gormandulus. And we are going to be a normal man. All right. Let's get going, Gormandulus. Hi. So I don't think it's a roguelike. Uh, let's see. Chapter 1, Awakening. And I can change the difficulty whenever. Cool. When I awoke, there was no light. Days passed before I could pull myself up. From that wretched darkness, I emerged, ragged and bearded from the ruins of our home, the Citadel. Only then did I understand. All was lost. Our enemy had won. It was impossible to tell how much time had passed, but my people were gone. All the lands had been emptied of civilization. Roads collapsed back into nature. Villages returned to scattered rock. Fields were already mere suggestions between the woodlands. Now only one path remains, the path to the enemy. I reach out with my mind to where the great evil is still abroad, insane and gloating amidst the ruins of our world. I must summon my strength, my mind, fogged by years of unnatural slumber, feels reels at this reality. Can I regain the distant powers that I wielded long ago? I failed my people once. Why would, would I do so again? All right. Play. Try to remove as many cards as possible. The basics. Click on a card, one lower, uh, card, one number higher or lower than the card in the bottom of the screen. Wait, is this solitaire? Oh, one number lower or higher. There are no more playable cards, so you need to draw a new card from the stockpile. Zero can go on a nine and vice versa. You started a combo by playing six cards in a row. Combos are new more power, so keep them going as long as possible. Click end combo when you need to draw a new card. There we go. Alright, perfect. I think this is kind of solitaire-ish. You know what? I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. We'll just figure this out. Looks like um, this might actually be a fight. I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't seem like a roguelike, which I'm pretty fine with. I've been playing too many of those, and as much as I love them, uh, they get to be a bit much. Anyway, uh, the other thing I was going to say is uh, shout out to Pixel Jam Miles for sending me this copy. I think I might have gotten an email from the developer about a demo a while back, but it was right in the middle of me just getting too many things. And then uh, my my buddy Miles, who handles the PR and publishing for Nova Drift, was like, hey, I'm helping publish this. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I should probably play this. And then I forgot about it until launch day. So here we are. Anyway, desolation, everything abandoned. And yet there's a figure on the road. Ahead. Brother, oh brother, let us meet and speak of what misfortune has befallen our sweet Mercia. Something snarls beneath the ragged hood. If it had once been human, then it is no more. This poor creature is hollowed out by malign power. With a grim determination, I remember my purpose. Alright, versus. Charge your actions by removing cards with the corresponding suit. Pay attention to the enemy's next action and attack or defend accordingly. Enemy actions gain one charge per turn. Okay. So he has Bandit's Club, charge 3 out of 3. So he's about to hit me, potentially. He's going to do 5 damage. So he's got Club, Iron Skin, and also Flaming Iker. Scorch enemy for 5 physical plus combo bonus. Ooh. Hawk softly, carry, carry a big stick. Aw. Okay, uh, so let's, let's do this right. I don't... Mm. I don't see a three here. So I can do zero, one, two. But that would be reliant on us getting a three at some point. I'm going to go for it. 
Wait, oh, we're at a six. Never mind. Okay, defense is ready. Is charged. Click defend or keep playing to build a combo bonus. Let's go for the combo bonus. Start a combo bonus by playing six cards in a row. Combo boost your attack, damage, and defense spell. Try and keep going to build an even bigger combo bonus. Okay. I don't see an eight. Which is a little concerning. But I can go back up to the wall, uh, zero. And then we have nothing. Okay, melee attack is charged. Uh... I don't see anything else. Okay. I guess we're just going to do Iron Skin. Go beefy. Now I think... Yeah, that goes away at the end of a turn. Oh! But my melee attack is charged. Oh... Okay, he shields up. He's going to hit me shortly. Let's see, I don't think I have anything else. I'm just going to kill him. Oh, no, he had defense. Oh, shoot. Okay. I understand how this works. We have way too many fives. Okay. So he's not doing anything, in fact. And it looks like he's going to defend again. Nine. I, I get how this is supposed to work. Turn six. Let's, uh, let's restart hands. I can do this better. Okay. I believe in the me that believes in the me that... I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So... We probably want to go up and then down. So, eight, nine, eight. Unless we get another eight, we don't want to go that direction again. So, seven, six. I don't see any fives. Nor do I see any sevens. It's actually a lot of really low cards. Well, we dropped down, but there's no way that I could get another eight here. So I guess I'm just hitting him. We're just going to take a little bit of damage. No combos for me. So I see a lot of ones. A couple of twos. So two. One. Let's see. We could go down to zero. Yeah, we could we could go down to zero. Let's see. Defense is charged, but I want to hit him. I'm curious about how much if I recover any HP between rounds. Because that would inform a fair bit of my strategy. Let's see. I don't see any sevens. So I could just kill him. There we go. Overkill. Plus one. All right. Victory. Let's see if I remain injured or not. Let's see. Turns taken to five, five turns. Health, five lost. Power, enemy loot, hand total. Cool. So what do we get? Roast for five fire magic damage. Damage five. Or removes a targeted playable card. And 20 power. Okay. The vanquished creature had once been a son of my people, I was certain. The descendants of one of these peaceful villages. Dehumanized by the hand of the enemy. I was resolved now. There must be blood. Drag the pyre to the empty magic attack slot to equip it. Okay, we can also increase maximum HP by 2. So it doesn't look like damage carries over. We also have an active ability that we can use somewhere at some time. Okay, cool. Well, chapter 2, Paths of Recall. I'm on my lonely road. 
what I would give to see a friendly face or to receive a kind gesture. Yet I take some solace in nature, the sound of running water, the flicker of birds, lively among the blossom. Over and over and again, I reach for the moments before the end. How did I come to be trapped beneath the ruins of my home? Why would the enemy leave me, the most implacable defender of my people, free to walk this earth again? The thoughts flick around me like insects in the light. Am I missing something? But what? Oh, I am missing something, but what? Alright, there's a bomb there. So I guess we want to grab as many of these things as possible. Alright, I cover useful items. Hidden under cards to aid you on your journey. Okay. Use the active ability to remove a target playable card. Oh, hey. So I got a seven. Six. Oh, I see. That's how it works. What's the worm card? It's wild. You can play it at any time and place any card on top of it. Okay. It doesn't seem to be much of a penalty here. This is going bad. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, it really does want you to play somewhat perfectly here. Maybe. Okay, I don't see a four, so we do six. I don't have any sevens. I could remove something, but I don't know if that's a good a good setup. We could try removing something. <laughs> ah! All right. Well, that's better. Uh, I can't even do anything with that. Oh, that. Okay, here we go. Well, that didn't help. Well, whatever power is, I ain't getting a whole lot of it. Okay. Three. Two. Three. Two. Oh, and I can't I can't undo that one. Because I should have gone up to the four. Uh let's see. Zero nine. Eight. Seven. Worm card. We get the we get the bomb. I should not have given get uh, gotten rid of some of these things. Okay, so we probably want to go up more than anything else. So let's go five, four. There is no sixes. Five, four, and no fives. Three. Well, there's the five. Awkward. You're not helping this situation. Whatever, we get the power. It was perfect. This confuses me. Alright, well, at some point we'll know what, what power does. For now, heck if I know. Alright. I'm just... I'm on a journey of confusion. Alas, not even our natural world remains untainted by the enemy's hand. Even now the creature hungers and loathes the human form. I must fight to protect myself, as I once tried to protect these lands. Hello. This looks interesting. So I thought this was going to be more of a deck builder, but it's not. Okay. Gain some temporary defense. Ooh. Well, he's going to hit me. So I'm going to get grab that. 
Oh. Magic defense, physical defense. Got it. Okay, let's plan this out a little bit. So, it doesn't look like going up is going to be a good idea. So, let's go down. Okay. Now we want to go down. What is this? Recharge a random active ability. What is that? Instantly damage the enemy. Doesn't do too much, but I'll take it. Let's see, we don't have a five. I'm going to nuke the 8. Grab that. That gives us a 5. Damage the enemy. Temporary defense. Uh, let's see. What am I looking at? So, we don't have any more 2s. We could do 3, 4, 3. Might as well do that. Okay. So we were we are supercharged. He's gonna hit me for six. But here's the thing. As long as I don't die, we win. So I can I can just go super combo if possible, and then just murk them hard. Health persists within chapters. Lose too much health in a fight, click retry hand. Oh. There's our answer. So you get power and a worm card. So that's how it works. Yes, a little power remains in these sacred places. Magic abides and I must draw on it. Taking from this world the last drops of strength, just as I wring the last fragments of will from my own shattered body. Perhaps if I can find enough of these places of sacred strength, I can be the man I was so long ago. Okay, so we got a five. Oh, let's see, we don't have a one. I could wild card here. That's my combo. Okay. I know it's telling me I could do things, but I really can't. There we go. Okay, so we've got another eight. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Don't see any sevens, we don't have any nines. Uh, let's see. Well, we get the combo of six. Maybe I should have gone for the 4-5. This is... awkward. I almost wish this was more of a puzzle than anything else. I'm spoiled by stuff like uh, Demon Crawl and Murder by Numbers. Where it's kind of like, all 
puzzles in that game specifically are generally designed to be be solved without like uh they're all designed to be solved without guessing or like flailing at all and i'm sure i could solve these better but it feels odd that honestly half the time i'm just being opportunistic as opposed to actually having any level of strategy i'm sure that's kind of the point of solitaire but i just since i don't have the basis for it i don't get it anyway my heart tremors we once visited these places on festival days bedecked with garlands my lover's hand in mine Priests and sorcerers once communed with the living world and drew both power and wisdom from the fabric of the universe. Perhaps I, too, can gather a splinter of what remains. Well, there's a card in there. Uh, let's see. So we got the key. Play, so I got a zero. Well, we got a lot of ones. Let's actually go down. Yeah, I don't have any sixes. I could nuke that other eight. I don't think it's going to do me any good. Okay, do we have a three? We do. Don't see any zeros. Well, this is a trap. Yeah, I should have gone up. Uh, let's see. Four, three, four, five, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, and I should not have nuked that eight because it turns out I needed it. Well, it's fine. That's a decent combo right there. Uh, let's see, seven. Uh oh. Let's see. We don't have anything else. Five. Nothing. Awkward. Okay. One, two, three, four, three. There we go. Not the best. I'll take it. I honestly don't know how you can't perfect this to some degree. Unless you, like, run out of cards, and even then, I'm not actually sure how that works. Alright, so we got those. I have no idea what power factors into. Maybe we level after this. More of these ravaged creatures await me. They're scavengers, which gives me hope that I might meet one of the those that they scavenge upon. Alright, fight? So I'm injured, but that's not that big of a deal. Instantly damage an enemy by three. Defense up. Damage him again. So I got a two. I don't see any zeros, which is a bit of an issue. Because I need a zero if I want to get where I'm going. Okay. Don't see any sixes. So we're just going to wildcard into this one. Uh, let's see. Zero. I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to get. He doesn't have any combos set up. What's my combo bonus? 
If I hit him with the flaming Iker. Okay, so we, we do lose our combo bonus. Okay, so what do, what do we have? Limits. That's what. Let's do five, four, five. Charge a random active ability. Those are okay. Six, seven. I don't have any eights. So I'm just going to grab that. I guess I should have probably hit Screaming Skull. Six, five, four. It's a hell of a lot of fours. All right, he still doesn't have any actions going. So I guess I'm just gonna torch him and then stab him. All right, so we just combo, combo stomped this guy to death. I'm getting into it, I think. We didn't lose any. Frostbite, chill for five damage, slow with combo ten. Power, and another worm card. Saving those would probably be a good idea, but later. Another antagonist bro blocks the road ahead of me. A hulking, swollen form that I recognize as once having been a fey creature, one of the spirits of the deep outer forests and mountains. Once the beast helped us in our struggles, but its form has been corrupted. I will receive no aid from... It's like now. To battle. That's a big boy. Enemy resistances. Check to see enemies' resistances. Equip an effective magic attack before starting the duel. So he is somewhat resistant to fire. I mean, honestly, Frostbite is just straight up better anyway. Oh. Oh. I see. Gear is the healing amulet. And I don't have any skill points to spend. Oh, combat bonus starts at 30%. That's actually kind of good. Cover health every fight, extra damage with your dagger, extra turn if the tableau is refreshed. That's useful. Bring stock cards now charges your actions. Let's see, defensive charges extra. Okay, cool. Uh, let's close out of this. And let's get going. Fight! Uh, let's see, so let's grab the temp bonuses. Grab some things, and let's set this up. So I'm at a one. I don't see any zeros. We can go to the two, but that's not pretty. I'm going to get rid of this nine. See if that gives me something to work off of. The answer is no. I'm going to grab that. That's not pretty. No. We do have a worm card, so we could potentially swap a combo over. Now, he's going to hit me pretty quick. Probably starting with a Strength Tonic. Increased attack damage by a fair bit. But this is the last fight. So I don't need to worry too hard. So let's grab the two. Nuke this other two. One, two. Hit him. Then we got fives. Got a lot of fives and sixes. So let's grab that. Where's a good starting point? I have multiple fives. I have less sixes. Oh, let's see, we're at a... S Damn it. One seven would solve this problem. But no dice. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get my combo going any further than I already have. Alright. So I guess I'll just frost him. Oh no, he didn't increase his own damage. Interdasting? Okay. Well, I don't even know what he's doing right now. So I guess I'll just stab him. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what do we do? Eight, nine, eight... Worm card, damage. I could worm again. Because now he's strength toniking, which isn't the end of the world. We could end turn, or I could refresh the whole thing. Let's refresh the whole thing while we're here. That gives us a nice boost. He's also going to start hitting me, which is less than appreciated. 
you serious? Oh, wait, no, no, no. We can do the six. Seriously? That's all you're giving me. Oh, he's going to hit me for a ton. The problem is I don't see any combos here. Uh, I've got one. I guess we're just going to iron skin up. That hurt. Let's see. He's going to iron skin. So we want to set up a combo, but then we want to just heal ourselves. Let's see. So many nines. Uh, bah. Eight. Nine. Key. Damage. I got a lot of sixes, too. Which is actually more of an issue than anything else. Let's see. Anything else I could do? I guess I could stab him quick. Alright. Luckily, he's slow. Okay. So we got a three. What does that give me? Not much. Two, three, times three. Damage, four. And then we're kind of stuck. Do I heal? Do I hit him? I guess I'll just keep hitting him. Oh, god damn it. I was supposed to eat. He's still not going to do too much to me, so I'll just keep hitting him. Going to get rid of one of those sixes. Doesn't give me much. Okay. One, zero. I needed that nine. Okay, he's defending, and he ain't doing much. Okay, seven, six. Up my defense. Five. Do you do four or six? I guess it's the best I've got. So he's got physical armor, so I can magic hit him. Okay, and we got it in turn in turn ten. So we did we did get what we needed. Block 5 magic damage for one turn, increase attack by 50%, and 50 power. Cool. This is a little better sign of the awful method of the enemy than the corruption of beings like the Fae. They were once gentle, strong creatures, seeking to heal the rift between man and the natural world. Now, nothing more than monsters. Once glimpsed the Fae and their great stag god, traveling through the deep wilderness, the enemy's grim powers cut all that away. Leaving this world a hollow place, perhaps in time, it'll find a way to heal, to return. First, though, I must cut it, cut out the rot. I've gathered so much strength and absorbed the wisdom of the land. Which fundamental truths will I unlock? So, we can get Earthquake, 5 physical damage, debuff if the combo is 10, or inflict magical damage based on the last card's number. I like Temporal Shock. Let's see, Will of Wi Will of the Wisps. Shuffles playfield cards. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Vengeance would be interesting. I don't know how often I, the counterattack would proc, whereas this would be consistent. I don't have any other skill points. Okay, I want to take a look at the rest of these. So there's no actions. I'm going to grab Will-O-Wisp. Because that sounds really useful. Being able to uh, 
Being able to just shuffle the... Oh. The available stuff. Oh. That's consumable. So the healing item that I squandered is not reusable. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, one way or another, I think this is a really good stopping point for now. I like this game, but I think it comes down to the fact that it is very much based off of a game, game system that I don't understand particularly well. I think I understand the fundamentals now, but from a person that's never played Solitaire before, it is definitely one of those where it's like... I feel like I'm floundering just because I don't have that basis, that nostalgia that makes me think, Oh man! You know, I love Solitaire. I want to play more of this. Because uh, it's very much one of those where it's just like, yeah, I like this game. It's neat. But I almost would prefer it to be a deck builder. <laughs> Even though I play so many of those, I think that's just more more my flavor than anything else. It's not bad. It's well made. I like the art. And I like how it's designed. That there's been this trend of taking tried and true game design. Solitaire, Minesweeper, Peggle. Uh, oh shoot, there's a, at least a couple more of those uh, that I, I've been playing very recently and turning them into broader, deeper games. And I actually rather enjoy that because it makes me look at older game design philosophies and older game design styles that, you know, I never even touched. Older mechanics that I would have normally just been like, eh, it's solitaire. And it's kind of fun to have just a little bit of that uh in this, along with, you know, some extra abilities and, you know, the tactical element of decision-making. I, I think what gets me is just the R&D, RNG, because I'd almost prefer it if it was more puzzly from my perspective, like, if each hand could be solved perfectly if you knew what you were doing. But I guess that would make it trial and error, which is a little bit less interesting. I don't know. One way or another, I think this is a great stopping point. So, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random interesting indie games, I have so many of them. There are so, so many. And so I guess with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.